because tonight is New Year's Eve. Now here's the thing. Right now it's 7 39 p.m. Is my eye twitching? Because this book. Hi friend. So most recently in my last video, which I filmed about a week ago, I decided to join the Read What You Own challenge, which is really awesome. Except as soon as I put myself in a position of doing a reading challenge, the last thing I want to do is read. However, despite that feeling and frustration, I did finish a book. Finish How to Live Dangerously? I have a lot of thoughts about this, but I'm not ready to even talk about it. So that will probably be in a review coming soon. But I'm also kind of disappointed because I, I usually read a little bit more than that or a little bit quicker than that so to only have finished one book in about a week or just under just kind of like frustrating me and so I figured because tonight is New Year's Eve um I would try to finish just start chapter 13 so I want to finish this book and ideally read The Bard's Blade or um get a decent chunk through uh, before the end of the year. Now here's the thing. Right now it's 7.39 p.m. So I have very limited time to read, finish this book and read this book. But I think I can do it. So we're gonna do, that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. I'm gonna set an alarm for midnight and we're gonna start reading. See you on the other side. So I'm really liking the madness underneath. Um, I didn't get to read the first book. I actually picked up the second book in like a thrift store. So I haven't read the first one, but this one I'm really liking because it's basically the first book, something very traumatic happened that gets re-mentioned in this book right away. Um, and this is basically the main character dealing with such traumatic event. Well other stuff is still going on and I don't know it's very like it's not supposed to be cozy I don't think because like even on the front they're like an atmospheric thriller and you know it the first book got the Edgar Award which is for mystery and like um, a thrill ride that will leave you blah 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 which I think they're talking about the first book and this one, like, there's stuff going on that's a little creepy or a little... I wouldn't say mysterious because they kind of have an idea of what's going on. But yeah, there's a few like little things here and there that are creepy or a little whatever. But it's so toned down from, I guess the mystery slash thrillers slash horror that I'm used to reading that like I'm like oh this is kind of nice like I feel comforted especially because the way that they're dealing with the fact that this person has dealt with very intense trauma it's like oh this is kind of sweet it's kind of like a hug like you know so maybe I don't have the right opinion but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm in uh, in chapter 13, kind of just started it. So, don't do it. <laughs> I, I say all that, and then the scene I'm reading about is like, they're going to confront uh, this guy who they think might have done something wrong. And they're talking about how he's restrained to a table and how like, one thing that this per one thing that the person said, the main character said, kind of got the per the person who's restrained to a table to like react. So you know, you know, maybe it's not the most cozy thing, but it does feel cozier than a lot of things that could be seen as like scary. Or Before people say something, I do know this is like a YA book, but I've read YA horror and 
even middle grade horror that has that has like scary scary stuff going on. Uh, sometimes scarier than something you could read in an adult book. So before people come for me because this is like a YA book, just know like a YA book could actually be scary. But this one, like so far, it's like there's a weird element of like comfort, even though there's like sketchy slash scary slash creepy stuff going. Okay, it just got dark, very dark. Like I said, there can be some really dark slash creepy slash disturbing stuff, even in YA. But I was like, this is so comforting, this is so comforting. Okay, not anymore. Hi friend, so it's 10.30 p.m. Okay, so I just finished Madness Underneath, which is book two of the Shades of London series. I haven't read the first one, but okay. I'm not ready to say a lot, but I am going to say at the end, the main character has finally kind of figured out what they want to do and then kind of lists like, I want to do this and I'm interested in doing that and I'm going to do that. And it feels a little bit forced. To the point that, like, I want to believe them. I want to believe they're going to do everything they say they're going to do. But I'm having trouble believing them. And I hate that I have that feeling. Also, because I didn't read the first book, maybe I probably missed some of, like, the chemistry between certain characters. But I kind of look, he didn't, like how the chemistry between two characters happened. It just felt like, yeah, it could have been on this long awaited thing, but it's like they finally realize they like each other or it, whatever, and then something tragic happens, and then It's kind of very ambiguous to what the future for them is, and I didn't like it. It just felt at the end, it felt like it was forced or rushed at the end of the story. And I mean, there is moments throughout the book where you could tell they might like each other, and even the other characters kind of were like. Mm -hmm thinking maybe that's a thing, right? <laughs> so maybe that's fine, and again, I haven't read the first book, so it's totally possible that I just, like, don't have the full story there. But then, at the same time, to, like, make them come together at the end of this book, like, it was basically the end of the book. Oh, yeah, we like each other. And then something tragic happens, so that they don't really get to have anything deeper than, oh, we like each other. You know what? You probably figured out you liked each other before. If just, uh, there's something about that that was like, kind of just skin crawl. But overall, like, book, glad I read it. I'm interested in the series now. I don't know if I should read book number one. I'm interested in continuing. But yeah, I don't know if I really should read book number one. Um, and then 
I want to try, obviously, now that it is like, I've been talking to the camera for a while, so now it's 10.50, and I just wanted to like read into the new year. I'm probably not going to finish this, but I definitely want to see how far I can get in this book. And I, I really like, normally I don't like the art on fantasy books, but I really like how like the trees on the bottom are like really painted, oh, really painted and really pretty, but then you also get like the fantasy guy in the background, you know what I mean? Like it feels like kind of slightly different styles, I really like that. So it is 10.55. Well, it's about to change to 10.56. And 10.56. Okay, I'm going to start reading this. Is my eye twitching? Because this book. If the person they're describing right now is the person that's go gonna go on the hero's journey, I have some issues. Now I don't know if it's going to be, but I have a weird feeling it's going to be. Let me see. Can I skip ahead? It has a lot of random names, but then it just says he, 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 like the person that's actually going on a journey. He, he, he. Hi, friend. So, I don't know what happened, but kind of like got distracted. I started it tonight and it's official. A new day and a new year. Seems 